What's up guys? Welcome back to Northwest Vaping. Sorry it has taken me so long to get this video uploaded. Uh, Father's Day weekend and all. My wife surprised me with a trip to the archery range. Got me some new arrows. That was fun. I got to shoot my bow for the first time since deer season. So that was cool. She got me a new phone because I beat the tar out of mine at work. Taking six foot falls off of a car lift onto a concrete floor doesn't really work very well for phones these days. They're not Nokia's anymore. You can't just, you know, whatever. You can't run them over with a car anymore these days. So, anyways. Got another juice for you this week. I've got Amaretto. While the intro video is playing, I'm going to rewick my RDA. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so we are back. I got my Nimbus all rewicked. Um, I've actually got a different coil in here this week. I went ahead and built a parallel coil. I uh, wanted a little bit more vapor, wanted to blow a few clouds. So, got a new coil in here. Uh, 26 gauge Cantal, uh, 6 wraps, 564 strobe bit, comes out to about 0.4 ohms. Um, so yeah, that's what I got. Alright, so the juice this week. Amaretto. Sorry, I know, I don't have any cool pictures to go this week. This is kind of a last minute deal. Um, Amaretto, like the liquor, or liqueur, I guess. Um... You know, the same stuff that goes into Amaretto Sours. Uh, if you've ever been to a bar and had the Dr. Pepper mixed drink, I would highly recommend it. It's Amaretto, uh, Southern Comfort, and a little bit of Coca-Cola. And it's actually pretty good. It tastes like a Dr. Pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and drip her on there, get a fresh battery. And then I'll give you guys the description for Mount Baker. Alright, so while I'm screwing that in, alright, so, Amaretto, uh, it might help if I scroll to the bottom where the description is, huh? Uh, Amaretto e-juice is a sweet and smooth almond liqueur flavor based on the Italian liquor. So it's, it's basically the, you know, almond flavored liquor and e-juice. Um, <laughs> my wife actually, the other night, uh, I was laying in bed can't remember what she was doing. She was getting herself something to eat or something. And she comes in and the first things out of her mouth were, what are you vaping on? Because that smells delicious. It smells like roasted marshmallows. I was like, well, it's not roasted marshmallows. It's amaretto. I don't know if you would like it or not. And she tried it actually, one of the few times she actually wanted to try something off of one of my drippers and she loved it. She filled her tank up with it the next morning. So, um, and my wife is really, really picky, so if she liked the juice, you know it's got to be good. Alright, so. I'm not going to vape on it yet. I'm going to smell it first, like I always do. You know what it smells like? It smells like, uh... You ever had almond paste? Or like almond butter? You definitely get almond. And I've, I've actually never bought Amaretto myself, so I don't know what Amaretto liquor smells like. I've had Amaretto sours. I've had the Dr. Pepper drink that I was telling you about. It smells like almond paste. Or, you know, like uh, almond extract. Almond flavoring. Almond extract flavoring. It actually smells pretty good. All right, so this juice actually really surprised me. Um, it's been steeping for, oh good grief, a month and a half now. Uh, and I just cracked the bottle open for the first time last week. And, uh, excuse me. And at first I didn't like it. Um, there wasn't an amaretto flavor. It was more like a, kind of like a bitter cherry flavor. Um, and I actually, one of the guys I work with, he vapes. And uh, I let him try it, and we actually had completely different opinions. Uh, he liked the initial inhale, but didn't like the flavor on the exhale. I liked the flavor on the exhale, not the initial inhale. So we were kind of opposite ends of the spectrum there. But as this has steeped and I've used it, I've actually come to enjoy it. I mean, I just cracked it open a week ago, and the bottle's about half gone, and I've just been strictly dripping on this stuff. So, uh, you know, I'm 
if if you drip, you know how long it would take to go through half a bottle. So you know how much I've been vaping on this stuff. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead, take a couple pulls. Now, if you guys are using tanks, you're not gonna get the clouds that I'm getting. It's well, I don't know. You might. It depends on your kind of tank, but. 50-50 blend, 12 milligram, basic stuff. And it's even better on a fresh wick. Oh, you get that nice almondy kind of bitter note that you get with nuts. Uh, right there at the beginning and then on the exhale you get this sweet kind of kind of tart afternote of it and it's it's a little bit of a complex flavor but then again it's, it's based off of a liquor so you know it's going to have that aged kind of kind of bitter uh, almond flavor to it and it this this goes really well with the description of the liquor itself Mountain Baker really did a did a good job with this. Uh, there's no extra <coughs> excuse me, no extra flavor shots, nothing special about this juice. It's just a 50-50 blend, you know, straight off the line. Granted, it's been steeping for a month and a half, but I mean, it is. I I've come to really enjoy this juice. I've been vaping on it straight for I think today's day four. I think I built my when, day three. I put my parallel coil and my Nimbus on Sunday while my wife was watching Game of Thrones because I don't like that show. I don't care what you think. I think it's dumb. I think The Walking Dead is dumb. Please don't hold that against me and stop watching my my videos because that would, that would really disappoint me. Maybe I shouldn't say stuff like that on here. I'm going to go back to vaping. Oh man, I think I might have just ruined myself there. Oh well. Hopefully you guys find me entertaining and you guys like watching my videos, so and I hope I, you know, inform you guys a little bit, so short video this week, trying to, you know, make it quick cuz this is kind of a spur of the moment video shoot, so That's Amaretto. I would recommend this to anybody who likes drink flavors. Um, you know, mixed drink flavors. I've actually debated on whether or not to mix this with something like a rum or a tobacco. I haven't gotten there yet, um, but I'm definitely contemplating it. And if I do, I will let you know how that goes. But yeah, this is this is good juice. It it really surprised me right off the bat. I didn't like it. I wasn't a fan. But I had to do a review for you guys, so I figured I'd, I'd keep letting it go, keep giving it a try, and it has grown on me, and I actually really, really enjoy it now. Um, so, yeah. Not one of my favorite flavors in the world, but it is definitely an all-day vape for me now. So, with that, guys, I'm signing off here. Don't drip and drive. And keep on vaping on. Enjoy, guys.